What's up everybody, I'm Marcus Y. Rosia. Welcome to part three of a four part series. I call it my introduction. I'm just getting to know you, telling you more about who I am. You know, uh, this series is called I'm Not a Motivational Speaker. You know, and what inspired the thought is I kept doing interviews over and over and over again. And people say, yeah, see so you're a motivational speaker. And I would go along with it, knowing deep down I don't consider myself that. And at a certain point, it's like, okay, I, I, let me stop. That's like someone calling you a name that's not your name. <laughs> Eventually, you have to say, no, that's not my name. No, I'm not a motivational speaker. What I am is a transformational speaker. That's, that, it's a small distinction, but... I think it holds a greater responsibility. So in the last video, I was talking about some of the limiting behaviors and beliefs, but let me give you a real quick sneak peek and synopsis into what I mean about not just being motivational, but being transformational. I believe that it's the job of a transformational speaker, someone that's gonna help transform the lives of people to be able to go three levels deep. Any topic that you talk about, not just surface. If I tell you that, um, let's just say that your dreams are attainable, that's a optimistic, wishful thought. But how are they attainable? What are the action steps? I will first talk about my personal life, things that I've had to break through, how I went from $11.37, how I graduated at 16, how I bought my first house at 19, how I went down to $11.37. Okay, so how are my dreams still attainable? That's one level that I can tell you from my life. Second level might be something more informative. A, how, what, are the, what are the practices? What are the mental behavior functions, which is the concept of when the day that I employ, that I can show you practical informational steps. And then the third might be something that has to do with how this can relate to you. It could be taking you into an execution plan, or it could be a transformational coaching, or it could be where I pose a thought or a challenge or something that you hold yourself to. If I were to say for the next 21 days, and now I walk you through a course of thought, I've gone three levels in it, and the levels can go beyond this, but it builds on one main thing and leads you at an ending, a starting point, a middle ground to get there, and then the ending point. That's the difference between just a cliffhanger of being a motivational speaker, but it allows me now to be more actively involved and take on the responsibility that my job's not done until you reach your destination. So, this, that's just part three of a four-part series. We're going to end it up on the last one. I hope this has been informative, so make sure that you watch the next video. I'm not a motivational speaker. What I am is a man that's a mirror of words to remind you of the potential of what you can be and to give you strategy to get there. Win the day, everybody. Marcus Y. Rose.